Hello everyone, Elrond here with part 16 of my Paradise Lost OT 2.0. And I think I'm too eager to boomerang at this point. So eventually, eventually I get smarter and just charge in and swing um, when it would generally make more sense to do that than toss. Because, I mean, if you miss or you hit the gun. Uh, which will count as a deflection instead of a kill. Um, you'll end up being um, macheteless for several seconds, and that's plenty of time to be mowed down. And so, unless you're quick to switch to a decent weapon um, while uh, waiting for your machete to return. Or you're willing to hide behind a corner and hope that the machete doesn't get lost. Um, you're gonna be in some problems. So probably easier in many of those uh, short-range situations. Just keep the machete in hand and um, charge in. Um, so in any case, we are going to go and heal up with the um, health pipe of the bathroom and pick up the stinks along the way. And then we will brave the insane asylum. <coughs> so, this uh, particular sub-objective was probably one of the um, ones that I kind of enjoy doing the least, um, on an ethical standpoint at least. Um, yeah, I'm essentially mowing down my fellow schizophrenics, um, all for a stupid air conditioning part. Um, yeah, it just doesn't seem to make sense or sit well in my stomach. Um, but in any I case, I will do it, and, and I will buildings. do it well. Looks like I need to get searching. Um, so I'm lining up some super long-range stuff. Although, this stuff's kind of so long-range it kind of has no hope. And once I get aggro, I'm looking for a nice corner. And so I decide this corner is better than the previous one. Um, generally, as a rule of thumb, prioritize people with the big scary weapons over the people with the little puny scissors. Um, yeah, only two or three of them were needed to kill Gary Coleman's, but come on, those are Gary Coleman's. I don't know what this cop's doing here, and why he's too dumb to actually face me. But, in any case, um... I decide, for whatever reason, that we should do the uh, little buildings first and then the big one last. Um, might just be tradition. Um, Someone could lose a limb. <laughs> although yeah. I think I may have tried it a different way at some point on an easier difficulty. And more, that good did not stuff. really like how it turned out. Like you know where and when certain I rocket launcher encounters were relative to my positionings and stuff. So I think starting off uh, with this one, then doing the other small one, wow, then doing the big one, um, that's probably the easy order. Um, and watch out, because a lot of these guys will start attacking nope, even if they pretend that they're going to be happy other otherwise. Two buildings. Um, so... To give them a nightstick to pray to, and uh, stupid hedge cutters, and uh, move on. Um, I've had experiences where they barrel rush this room before, but I may have also been like using guns in that version. Um, so I think in my first playthrough, I did not find the machete until Thursday inside the coal mine. Um, so, I was certainly machete-less um, in my first playthrough at this stage of the game. 
So that might have been that time. So Molotov Lady's up there. Um, making sure that the rest of the place is safe. It looks like we do have an opponent, so we need to clear out first. <coughs> so, in Paradise Lost, they patched out the weak in Paradise trick where you can use the machete through walls and doors. Um, so, if you're planning on depending on that level of shenanigans, um, that no longer works. Um, oh man, that's fucking awesome. At, oh yeah, watch out for dynamite too. That's another big splash. Um, well, the good news is it tends to also have decent collateral damage. And watch out for live mm. ones that you may not have that's noticed cool. gone live. Um, they've kind of been burned before with those. Um, but in any case... Oh, someone's trying to leave. How about that? So, now we come in. Chop that head off. I've never used a smoke grenade. Um, I don't know if it really serves any decent purpose. Um, even in the pacifist run, I never really found a need for it. Um, this might be the one person that doesn't ever fight you, but she looks to be in so much pain. It's like, you know, all right, let's just do a clean decapitation. It's like, oh, no, I cut your leg off. Sorry about that. Let's try that again. Damn, the oh, no, in here either. I still well, didn't get your head off, but at least you died this time. Um, so, anyways, um, now we're gonna move on. So, this is where we need to start walking, watch, watching out for rocket launchers. Um, because they're out there. Um, I believe they're standing on an AC unit that's on this building um, over to our right once we leave. And, you know, you kind of need to jump out uh, hot and ready, aim, pre aiming um, the spot um, to minimize the number of shots that he's going to fire at you. Um, so I'm just taking a quick scope, looking through the thing here at him, and he still gets to fire a shot. So I decide probably it's best to just let it go. <coughs> and I bring out the big guns. Um, seems appropriate. So we kill him, but there's a live round. Aim and shoot at it before it can get to you. It's probably safer than ducking behind trees and hoping that the ricochets work out for you. Fuck off. And gotta give that fool a finger. Um anywho, it's time for us to move on. And so I believe we find a live fireplace at some point, and then I'll end the video midway through peeing on it. Um, I don't know, I just got amused by the concept of it not going out, um, no matter how much pee you drained into it. Um, we're going to kill these two guys first, and then I'll be doing that. So, um, that pretty much concludes this video. I will see you next video. Good luck, have fun.